Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Trending Tuesday with Trend Micro. In our first episode, my friend Nitin has talked about a Trend One platform, which is also known as Trend Micro Vision One platform. He also talked about how Vision One is going to help organization with respect to attack surface management, zero trust, vulnerability prioritization, and advanced threat detection and response. Taking to our discussion further, I, your host Amar Nigam, going to discuss another app of Vision One, which is known as Risk Insight. Friends, in today's world, organizations are spreading their infra very rapidly and adopting to cloud very aggressively. However, there are cyber threats running in parallel and organizations are just a step away from being a victim of cyber attack. Perhaps organizations are unable to identify the risk and they are unable to prioritizing the vulnerabilities and they are unable to attain the zero trust. And that is the high time where the organization and the security team should look into the risk-based assessment, risk-based incident detection, risk-based threat prevention and need to take some action based on the risk. In this episode, I am going to show you how risk inside of the Vision 1 is going to help organization to identify the risk associated with it and take an action based on the risk. Let's sail through the console. So in the Vision 1 platform, if we see, there is an option called Risk Index. So in, under this inside, I could see the Risk Index. And now this Risk Index is talk about, it talk about overall risk associated with the organization. And it also talk about what are the different risk factors. So if I see, I could see three different risk factors associated with the Risk Index. One is Exposure Index, Attack Index, and Security Configuration. If I click on the exposure overview, I can get to know about the what are the different risk factors which are involved into the risk contribution. So it could be vulnerability, it could be system configuration or the activity and behavior of the user. If I click on the vulnerabilities, I can get to know about the what type of vulnerabilities, whether the assets which are internet facing or the internal assets which are uh, causing the vulnerabilities, which are facing the vulnerabilities and how much is the risk associated for each vulnerabilities associated with the internet or the internal assets facing. Similarly, for the system configuration, I can get to know about the what are the different configuration mismatch which are causing the risk to increase for the organization. It could be the cloud app, it could be your you know, endpoint security, it could be your any kind of a app where which is causing, which is not configured well, or there is a misconfiguration in that app, which is causing a risk to increase. Similarly, for the activity of the users, if user is malicious, user is, is trying to do some act malicious activity, what is the risk associated with user? What is the different types of behavior it is observing for the user? And what are the risk associated for the behavior of that user? All that can be seen with this risk overview and the attack overview, ex attack index, exposure overview and security configuration of the risk overview. If I move into the next tab of the risk inside, which is called as the operation tab, I can get to know about the overall risk associated with the organization. And then also I get to know about the what are the different risk contributor. We can see account compromise is one of them. Vulnerabilities, activity and behavior, probably the XDR detection and threat detection are some of the risk contributor associated with. Now the risk index, risk says it's a 55. Now if I want to check, okay, how much is the total risk associated with the different risk contributors? I can click on the vulnerabilities. I can get to know about the what type of the vulnerabilities which are getting involved and how much is the risk associated with. If I click on the vulnerabilities, I can get to know about the what are the reference CV ID, what are the vulnerabilities ID and how much is the CV impact of it. It will also talk about what are the different OS or the application which are causing for that, that vulnerability and what is the impact scope. It's nothing but the what are the endpoints or the user or the server which are associated with the CV ID. If I click on the CV ID, I can get to know about what are the different types of devices which are causing that CV or which are causing that vulnerability. So with this platform, we can get to know based on the risk, I can get to know about the vulnerabilities. Now how this, this risk insight or the risk index helps the organization or the security team specifically. See, let's suppose now we have a risk of 80 and it talks about the con con contributor of the risk. It talks about the account compromise. It talks about the vulnerabilities. Now the analyst will look at the vulnerabilities. They, they get deep dive into the vulnerabilities, identifying where are the where are the where those vulnerabilities lying and they start working towards that. Similarly, for the XDR detection, they will working for the XDR and they will keep on doing the workbench analysis, triage, and they, they will be pushing it that information to their risk engine. Now from 80, my risk has reduced to 70. And I again, I keep on doing the, some cloud activity, some misconfiguration check and the vulnerabilities and also the account compromise activity I'm taking care of. And then my risk 
score has reduced from 70 to 50. Now, companies will have something in their hand which helps them to take a decision based on the risk. So, I may have the risk from 1 to 50, I can define, define it is a low risk and anything comes in between, let it allow. Anything which is 51 to 70, probably it's a medium risk and it has to be observed, it has to be taken into consideration and anything which is beyond 70 has to be blocked. So from now, from 80, it, it was all blocked. Now I've reduced to 70, now which is under observation. And now with all that vulnerability, cloud activity, activities, I have done a lot of work, analysts have done put a lot of effort. And now my risk is reduced to 40, which means I am maturing my security posture. For over a period of six months from 80, I have reached to 40. To, so to my leadership and to the CISO organization, I can show it is in a dashboard format that from 80, we have re reached to 40 and that is how I'm I am reaching to the security posture. So now we know how security posture can be matured with the help of Vision One Risk Insight app. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Trending Tuesday. Till then, thank you. Bye bye.